All right, we're gonna go through an introduction to Skittle. Um, Skittle is a really cool Python package. Uh, you can check out the documentation here. Um, I also have a little book uh, that you can check it out, uh, which is just the other documentation put into a Jupyter book. Um, so all you need to do is pip install Skittle, and then also you're going to uh, need to export the um, environment variable. So you see here I needed keycat six footprints directory as well as the keycat symbols directory. And those can both be gotten from keycad. Um, you can go to preferences, configure paths, and this will tell you where all your um, paths are. Okay, so we'll do a short example so we're going to from scale import everything and then i'm just going to cheat off of what i've already done um, so we're going to make a function for the esp32 and um, then we'll call that function esp32 circuit and then we can immediately um, generate the PCB. Okay, so we make our part. Uh, our part is from the RF module library, and it is the ESP32 room, that's a symbol that we're using, and then the footprint is from the RF library, and here's the actual part. Uh, same thing for the capacitors. Um, you can see here uh, from the device library, we get a generic capacitor. We assign it a value of 10 microfarads, and then we assign it a footprint of a 603. Um, same with the bypass cap, uh, just a 100 nano. Now here you can see that um, there's some default parameters arguments passed into this ESP32 function, the V33 net and the ground net. And, um, we're attaching those nets to uh, the SP32. Actually, instead of one, we're going to use VDD. And instead of all these grounds, uh, ESP32. So now this will actually attach all the ground pin to all of the SP32 grounds and the 3.3 to all of the SP32 VDDs. Okay, so now uh, we're going to run this program. You can see we generated a bunch of files here. So we're just going to go to KiCad, um, open up the profile, and boom, we got our ESP32. So it's just that easy. Um, in the next few videos, I'm going to go through building out an uh, entire ESP32 uh, board and um, including simulations and ERC checks and all sorts of good stuff. So uh, stay tuned.